This is developed India, where the houses and the roads are clean and beautiful. But if you focus on the not so developed parts of India, especially on the outskirts of big cities or slum dwellings, you'll find that unhealthy and unhygienic conditions prevail in them. There's a lot of bacterial and fungal outgrowth in these places. Now, in this dirt and filth, bacterial diseases spread very easily. Bacterial diseases such as typhoid, dysentery, and gastroenteritis. Now, not only because of unclean surroundings, but most of the times, people lack consciousness of the flies that alight on their exposed food. Now, these flies bring with them a lot of bacteria that causes diseases in us, and when we have this contaminated food, we fall sick. Now, not only bacteria and virus can make us sick, but also chemicals that are wrongfully dumped into the water or the metals that are present in the water can also cause a lot of diseases in us. Like industries giving out effluent contaminate or causes pollution in the water bodies. Now, when people consume this contaminated water, they might fall very sick. Groundwater on maximum occasions can be rich with inorganic heavy metals such as cadmium, mercury, or arsenic. And these heavy metals can cause various effects in man like these if a man consumes this contaminated water for a prolonged period. Now, the worries do not end here. If you notice a village, you won't find a proper uh, nursing home or hospitals. So these basic facilities of uh, a healthy living is not present in the rural areas. Now, these problems are not only limited to India, but there are many developing or underdeveloped countries which also suffer from these causes. And for that, an international body was founded in 1948 known as the World Health Organization or WHO. Now, the World Health Organization is an international body that looks after the health problems of people across the world especially the developing and the underdeveloped nations. Now, the main or the basic aims of WHO is to collect information about the occurrence of an epidemic disease. They promote and support projects for research on diseases. They inform people about the latest development about use of vaccines. And finally, they organize medical campaigns for the control of various diseases. Now, during the times of natural calamities such as earthquake and floods, where there are a lot of people who suffer from these natural calamities, there is a national or an international agency known as the Red Cross, which provides relief and first aid to the victims of these natural calamities. Now, not only do they provide relief and first aid to these victims, they also educate people about accident prevention. And finally, they also have another important function, and that is to look after the maternal and the child welfare centers across the different countries.